I'm going to demonstrate using some residual helium left in this balloon that no longer floats that it will change the waveform pattern when you speak because air pressure resonating your vocal cords with air produces this pitch. But if I inhale the helium and then I speak, I sound significantly different because the speed of sound traveling through helium is very different than the nitrogen laden oxygen air that we normally breathe. But be careful for doing this because it can cause hypoxia by displacing oxygen from your lungs and the human intake system is called a tidal system. So when you breathe in through your nose, only one sixth of the volume of your lungs is actually exchanged when you breathe out. That's why we can't fly. Birds have a continuous three chamber breathing system. A human goes just like inflating and deflating a bag and each time not all of the gas is exchanged. So remember, this can cause asphyxiation. Don't let small children do this and don't repeat this experiment if you have a breathing disorder.